Hello, my people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ah, ah. Okay. It is the time is now 7:46 p.m. and you know I like to do my 15 miles a day, right? I'm still here listening to the sound of the ocean, and I just finished the other video, and I kind of messed up with that one because I went over my time, and I didn't come back down to um, the, the tension of six on the bike. So since I'm working on my, my <laughs> was supposed to be my cool down, I said, you know, I might as well just ride for another half an hour and just leave the tension at six and just go ahead and record it. Yes, I'm looking at the, the battery. Am I plugged in? Yeah. And just go ahead and record it. And then I'll just, when I'm finished, upload all three videos. And I'll be finished for the day. So this bike ride, I'm just going to really take it easy. And I'm going to change from the sound of the ocean to the sound of the brook. And I'm just going to... This last half an hour, I'm pretty much just in cool down mode. And so I'm going to take this uh, sweatshirt off for this. And I'm just going to bike at a retention of six. I'll probably be pedaling at a speed of 10 point five to eleven point something because this is the uh, third video this is the third bike ride for the day which means uh, a 90 minute workout a 90 minute workout I've been doing a lot of talking to these biking videos today. But I'm pretty much talked out. Whew, and I'm just going to chip. So for all of you who look at this particular video and say, she ain't doing nothing in the video. I'm going into 90 minutes back to back and you're seeing 30 minutes at a time at different times throughout the day spanning a two day period so when you see this particular video and this one looks like I'm not doing anything you need to understand that less than five minutes ago I finished a one hour workout and I decided to just go ahead and do my last 30 minutes at a tension of six at a lower pace than usual. I'm still exercising. I'm still moving. And uh, I really don't even have to explain anything to you about whether or not, about how hard I appear to be working out. I'm doing what I need to do for me. And it is exercise. Lord knows my muscles can feel what I have done today. But I decided to do it this way because, uh, one, I got carried away with all the talking I have been doing in the video. So I haven't been really paying attention to this. But I knew that it was 30 minutes and 34 minutes and so on and so forth. But you know I like to go up and down with the tension every five minutes. And I got carried away with all my talking. And I would ride for 10 minutes at a tension of seven. <laughs> I would ride for five, for seven minutes at a tension of six. So I said, well, let me come down the right way, cool down the right way. So if I rode, and went up and down between six and eight, the tension of six and eight, pedaling as fast as I could for an hour, then it makes sense 
that I cooled down for a half an hour at a tension of six and a much lower speed. So I'm just in totally like relaxation mode. Uh, what I was saying was, I said, I know. I already know. I'm not going to come back in here at 8.30 tonight to take another 30-minute ride. Having woke up today at 10 o'clock and crammed in a whole lot of stuff in a short period of time. I got all my videos out. Didn't break a sweat. <laughs> got all my videos out. Didn't break a sweat. And I've been sitting here coming up on 90 minutes. Um, having done all that, when I finish with this, all I need to do is upload and take a shower. And uh, I'm going to uh, make some tea because I like to end my day with a cup of chamomile or something and I'm going to have chamomile tea. So uh, I'll be finished with all work by 8.30. No vacuuming, no trash, no, no laundry, no cleaning up the kitchen, just making a cup of tea. And I'm not even going to use the coffee pot. I'm just going to grab that little pot, heat some water up on the stove, pour it into my cup, and stick the tea bag in it. I'm going to do it that, just that simple. And then when I'm finished, empty the pot, turn it over in the dish rack, or just let it sit on the stove, and I'll be finished. Nothing to do but sit my cup in the sink and throw the tea bag away. Yeah, and I'll be sitting there with my tea, uh, uploading these three videos and uh, uh, labeling my thumbnails. That's all that I'm going to do tonight. So, this is my cool down. This is my cool down. Still exercising, though. So that's a sign of real progress to be able to. I have had a total of about six minutes between videos today, between the biking videos today. And uh, that's real progress. That's what exercise will do for you. And I probably won't be able to do this tomorrow. Tomorrow, it'll probably be half an hour in the morning and uh, followed by a 10 minute break and another bike ride and then it'll be around nightfall before I do the other 30 minutes and complete my 90 minute set. But for today, this is what I'm able to do. Could have something to do with all the rest that I got. I guess my body needed to sleep till 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but don't push yourself. I'm just listening to my body and my body says I can do this. My body says just make it a, a 30 minute cool down. So yeah. We are listening to the sounds of the book. Sounds of the book. Brought to you. By Hometics. <laughs> Hometic sound machine. Did I not clear the machine out? No, I didn't clear the machine out. 
So when it says 60 minutes, it'll be, my time will be up. I didn't clear it out. But my last ride was 34 minutes, so 64. When you're at this low tension, like I'm at, yeah, it's called tension control. When you're at this low tension that I'm at, which is six, it's hard to pedal slow. It, it requires more focus to pedal slow because it's so easy to pedal at this particular setting. So I have to pay attention, close attention because it's my cool down. And I'm trying to slow it down. Stay between 10 and 11 for my speed. But it's so easy to do this. <laughs> so, I don't wanna do that because I'm headed toward that 90 minute mark. And I'm obese and I'm 50, coming up on 58. And no, I'm not going to make a habit of doing an hour and a half like that. It just, you know, happened to work out that way this time. And I said, well, got to cool down. So might as well just go ahead and do a whole 30-minute cool down. Because it's still moving. <laughs> People, I just can't stop. Every time I look at the... Uh, that damn <laughs> door stopper, noise blocker. It was just so cute. You know, it looked good in the picture when I saw it on Amazon. And I said, oh, that'll be cute to put at the door instead of just having the, the long piece. I said, it looks like a long dachshund. And I said, that'll be cute. But I had no idea it was gonna be so beautiful. I had no idea that the quality was going to be so good and that, you know, I would become so attached to it. It's because I'm not a stuffed animal kind of a person. And I'm weirded out by people who, you know, still love their stuffed animals. But this doorstop, the expression on the dog's face, there's a softness about it. It's just so beautiful. And so lifelike is what gets me. And I keep, every time I look at it, I, I start to think, I think, what if I had an actual dog? Would my dog <laughs> be trying to attack it? Would my dog be looking at it and waiting for it to move or do something? And if I, my, the dogs that I had had in the past, I'm pretty sure my dog would go over and lay next to it. <laughs> would go over and lay next to it frequently and lean up against it. And view it as her buddy. Because I used to get my dog squeaky toys. And she had this one squeaky toy that she was just, she was so protective of. And, you know, they put the little squeaker in the chest right where the heart would be. And so she would pick it up and she would squeak it. And she would allow me to squeak it. But she would just go go off if somebody else hit that squeaker in that particular um, toy. And she always wanted to take it outside. She always had to sleep with it. But I wouldn't let her take it outside. And, um, yeah, she was just in love. And the squeaky toy was about this tall. And it was like a, a teddy bear. They had little arms and it was just cute. And it was about maybe 13, 14 inches tall, real lightweight. And she had that toy in her mouth all the time. 
She would lay there and take a nap with it. She would bring it to me. If there was a problem with the squeaky with the squeaky part. And I remember one time I washed it. And I guess all the water wasn't out. She brought it to me. I couldn't figure out what she wanted. And she kept giving it to me. And she was looking all sad. And I was holding it, trying to figure out what, it, what was going on. And I squeaked it. And nothing happened. And that's how I knew what the problem was. It didn't squeak anymore. And she brought it to me to fix it. I didn't know what to do. And I got on the phone and I called a friend. I was like, they put the little squeaky thing where the heart is. And they said that squeaky toy is with her all the time. And she gave it to me and she's all sad. And uh, so I didn't know what to do. I tell her, I put the squeaky toy on the sofa and I covered it up with a towel. And I said, every few minutes, I said, and then she goes in the living room and she sits up there on the couch looking all sad, looking out the window. But every few minutes she comes back in and jumps up on the sofa and, you know, her, her little nose and she's like this checking on her little squeaky toy. And then she jumps off the sofa. And then the last time she went over there to do it, and he said he would replace the squeaky. I said, i got to get to the store and get a squeaky, a little squeaky piece, and put it back in the chest. And he said he would go, and he would bring it over. He lived an hour and a half away. <laughs> and this is how, this is how this dog of mine, this dog is of mine, just, you know, had everybody's heart. I was like, and it was already late, but um, he was like, I'll just go get it, and I'll be over there. I was like, you go go to the store and get the little thing, and you go come over here. But he used to do surgery on my stuffed animals when I was a kid. <laughs> when I was a kid, like 15, 16 years old. And uh, so anyway... I went over to the sofa after this conversation. I went over and I told her not to do it. I went over to the sofa the next time she jumped up and I sat there with her when she was checking on her squeaky toy. And I picked him up and I gave him a little kiss. And I guess he dried out. And I touched it and, and it squeaked. And she got all excited. And she was lovely. She viewed me as the miracle worker, I guess. And uh, she she got him, and she went off with him, and then they just laid up there on the sofa in the living room, and everything was right in her world after that. But yeah, she was attached to that squeaky toy. And when I was shopping for it for Christmas that year, I picked it up and I squeaked it, and I said, "Oh, Maxie is gonna love you." And somebody behind me started laughing. And uh, when I got that squeaky toy home, when she got that squeaky toy, she fell in love with it. They were just, she ran all over the house with it, all excited. Yes, she did. Whew, people, I have done all that I can do. That is a cool down for me. My body just don't want to do anymore. 90 consecutive minutes is too much. And it says 53 minutes. So I haven't quite reached that 30 minute mark. Yeah, I haven't quite reached that 30 minute mark. I'm trying to go slower, but you know. I don't really want to fall short. What I need, I guess, is I should have had the fan blowing on me. So let me sit here and chill. I'm hot now. I can feel the muscles in my thighs. 
I'm gonna have to turn this fan on. And I have a window open. I love that little fan. That's a powerful little fan right there. So you're probably going to hear it. I got it blowing on me. I think it's the only way I'm going to be able to complete this 30 minutes. And I forgot to write down the distance for each one of them. So I had to do what I did yesterday while I'm uploading it. Before I upload it, back it up to near the end. Because I always tell you in the video what my distance was. Because I put that on my thumbnail. So I'm going to have to do that for all three of them. I will most likely never do another 90 consecutive minutes. seen any YouTube videos today. I watched a commercial on YouTube. That seemed like a video. And uh, I haven't had the TV on at all. I got a ways to go, don't I? Because this video 
has been recording for 24 minutes. So. I still have a ways to go. Hmm. Sit back and chill. Your fan sure feels good blowing on me. I had the fan blowing on me last night. Woo. It was all up in my face and I was just loving it. Because when I went into the bedroom and I got near the bed, I immediately became woozy. <laughs> I was checking the window. I immediately became woozy based on whatever they were doing up there. It was all up in the room. I picked the fan up and I set it in the chair right at my head. And I laid down. And uh, it was my goal to play Sudoku, but I didn't finish it because then I started to get cold, but the air felt good blowing on me. And uh, next thing I knew, I was asleep. And then the next thing I knew was 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Woo. So I guess exercising does help you to relax and get a good night's sleep. And uh, I'm inclined to believe that the tea aided in the sleep. The exercise aided in the sleep and the juicing. Ending my day with the juicing, I'm inclined to believe that all of that plus all of the water I had yesterday helped me to get a good night's sleep. I hit that bed. I couldn't even get through. I didn't even get through a quarter, a quarter of the way through Sudoku. And that fan blowing on me felt so good, but I had to cover up. I felt just right under those covers. And I just drifted on off to sleep. I said, I didn't even have time to be focused on the fumes. I said, because the bed felt so good to me. I hadn't been in that bed in so many, several nights I haven't been in that bed. And uh, I had to put my compression socks on. I was like, I don't know if you should sleep in compression socks open at the toe. I put those on and I said, well, I'm going to sleep with them on the night <laughs> because my ankles were big and uh, they are yeah, almost normal size <laughs> but there was a noticeable problem because I had been sitting in the chair and even though I had my feet up on the ottoman at some point, they come off the ottoman, and then, you know, you end up with swollen ankles and legs. And so I put those on, and I laid down in the bed. And uh, when, the, when I was hit by the fumes when I went in there, I was like, once I got in the bed, I said, I'm not getting out of this bed. I'm not sleeping again on the sofa because, I, you know, I sprayed the sofa down um, a couple of days ago. So I'm not going to lay on the sofa right now. It'll be a couple of weeks before I lay on the sofa. I sprayed it. I found a bed bug back there and it wasn't even alive. And it was on the lamp. And people have been in and out of here. So I'm pretty sure that nothing in here has bed bugs, but it led me to spray all over the house two different types of bed bug spray. And um, so I said, I'm not gonna spend another night sleeping in my chair, no matter how comfortable these chairs are. And I'm not gonna stretch out on the sofa. And I just laid there. I had the fan blowing air right in my face. 
and uh, I pulled the covers up over my head. I laid that down device down that I was playing Sudoku on and I just closed my eyes. Next thing I know, I was asleep. <laughs> I was asleep. I think I woke up in the same position. I leaned back here. I was like, what's this? I was all nice and comfortable. So, um, yeah. And then today I have been on my feet most of the day. I've been seated on this for 90 minutes. And I sat down to do a mukbang today. But other than that, I've been on my feet. I never have sat in that either one of those chairs or on the sofa since I got up. The only place I sat was at the dining room table just long enough to eat. And when I ate my dinner, believe it or not, I ate my dinner standing up. Because I told you, you know, my mini refrigerator, which comes up to like here on me, um, I grabbed some food out of the refrigerator and it was a little after my regular dinner time. And uh, I was watching something, looking at something, it was a commercial. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I did see something on YouTube. No, I didn't. It was a commercial. I watched that standing up. It was one of my own videos that I saw after that commercial ended. Um, one of my biking videos came on and I was watching that. I always look at my videos to make sure to check out the, the, the video quality before I delete um, the video itself. Um, so yeah, just in case I have to upload it again. So I was watching uh, one of my biking videos while I was standing up eating my dinner. <laughs> and I have to say that kind of happens a lot. Where uh, one pretty, usually just one of my meals throughout the day is a sit down meal. And the other one is like I'm kind of eating on the go. I grab something and I'm walking around doing something. Or standing there, because if it's on the, if it's up there, the cheap, the computer is always sitting up there on the refrigerator. I'm thinking to myself, um, well, no need to reposition it because after I finish this dinner, I'm going to go off and do something else, and I'm probably going to take that computer and set it up over there for my bike ride. So, no need putting it on the table. And if I sit down at the table, then I got to sweep the carpet. <laughs> So, so I just, usually that second meal is where I'm getting ready to do something. And the second meal is much smaller than what you see in my mukbang mukbang. So, because the second meal is like a piece of sausage, um, a little bit of salad, and a leftover pancake. It's usually something that's left over. Um, opposed to something that I, I cook, that I cook fresh for dinner. So, um, don't take long to eat it. You don't really need to be seated for it. And I just usually eat it right out of the food storage container. And <laughs> because it's the second meal, the last meal for the night, I usually, um, when I finish eating it, put the lid back on it and set it back in the refrigerator and I'm like now I don't have any dishes in my sink and I can wash that tomorrow. Yeah I have been known to do that a lot. I'm like they had food in it and it was sitting in there and I ate it and I don't feel like scraping the rest out into the trash can and I don't feel like washing the dish and then rinsing out the sink. So let me just put the lid back on it and sit the fork on top of it in the refrigerator and I get it in the morning. <laughs> I get it in the morning. So that is the truth. I do stuff like that. So according to this, I'm 34 minutes. So then I know that I am, um, I know I, I did what I needed to do. 
on this bike. I did my 30 minutes on this bike. If that's telling me I'm four minutes over. So another video completed for the day. The little door stopper, noise blocker is looking up at me. <laughs> is this going to turn into something from the Twilight Zone? Where the door stopper, noise blocker starts talking. <laughs> it is so cute. It is so cute. And it's sitting there next to a miniature fan. A fan that is about this, this size. And it looks like it's enjoying the nice little breeze. Should I show you a picture? <sighs> okay, this video is over. Thank you for joining me for yet another um, biking video. Stay safe, stay focused. Remember to give someone hope today and every day because it's a very easy thing to do. Uh, if you haven't hit the like button, please do so. If you have not subscribed, please do so. As of April the second, everybody. Uh, uh, as of April the second, everybody who has subscribed to the channel for at least a week will be able to comment on the videos but here in my birthday month here in my birthday month i'm taking a break from uh, all the haters all the people with the rude comments all the people who run through and saying things that are totally unnecessary y'all know who the trolls are so i'm taking a break from all of those people in my birthday month because when people find out what it is you want and find out that you have a reason to celebrate they come through the devil comes through um, and uh, they come through real hard at you I couldn't think of a, a, a better word uh, or the right word rather they come at you full force let's put it that way the devil will come at you full force to steal your joy so I just you know made sure that for my birthday month if you have not been subscribed for I had myself a couple uh, a week or so uh, piece from everybody all comments and then I switched it to if you have been subscribed for a week or longer you can comment in the uh, premieres and in the live streams and uh, as I said as of April 2nd everybody will be able to comment all over even on my channel page if you have been subscribed for a week or more but for the month of March my gift to me is to be non-disturbed undisturbed by all the trolls out there by all the trolls out there I don't like the word troll and so, you know, I usually just go ahead and describe what a troll is without saying a troll. I talk about what the trolls do, so on and so forth. Other people like to use the word troll. I guess they think it sounds cool. I don't know. It's YouTube, YouTube terminology, uh, the, the street lingo today. Uh, I just don't like the word troll. And I just go ahead and describe to you what a troll is and uh, tell you all about them. I have talked about them a lot in my videos, but uh, I think this is the first, this might be the second time I've ever used the word in a video. But uh, yeah, it's not something that you'll hear me say. I'd rather say damn shit fuck. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny certain words that people don't like to say but they'll cuss in a minute, right? You don't want to say troll, but you'll say damn shit fuck. Yeah, I will. So let me show you this cute, this little cutie patootie that has been uh, staring at me. <laughs> Did you see? cute little face. So anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.
Pose. Straight Pose. That's a good one.